Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I came back to share with you guys, um, just a second, let me just, I just want to bring this down a little bit, just a minute, I'm going to readjust things. I've come back to share my fabric that I rust dye. It's been rinsed and dried, dried out in the sun. So these, so I'm going to go through those and then I'm going to show you the ones that have been sitting since the last time that we did this video, which was maybe like four or five, maybe three or four days ago. Um, we had done some rusting together here and I'm going to show you the results of that. They're still wet, but we're going to undo the, I call it the lasagna, the rust lasagna. So anyway, these are the ones though that I that we, that we, un, that we um, looked at last time, but they were wet. Now they're dry. So check these out. Oh my goodness. These was a pair of jeans. Look how fabric, look how fabulous this looks. Oh my gosh, I love it. Isn't that so cool? It even really bleached the uh, jean fabric. The jean fabric was a lot bluer than this. This is so cool. Look at the back. So you can use the front or the back. Look how cool the back looks. I am obsessed. I just want to come down as close as possible so you guys can really see. So there's the back, which looks so good. There's the front. All right, let's go to another one. Here's, I'll, I'll just, yeah, I have another jean that we did. These are just, these are just jean fat, like some old jeans that were ripped up that I cut up. So look at this one. Look at the cool design. I can't wait to use this in my artwork. I've been working for weeks on papers, like, um, about making my own, um, papers for collage and then I'm going to add my own um, hand dyed fabric oh, rust dyed fabric it's going to be fabulous look at this on this one I definitely I almost well, I like them both I love this side and I love this side you know what I think I'm going to do I'm going to take photographs of these and then have them as paper too so I'll have paper to match the fabric I just thought about that. So, um, and what you do if you want to do something like that, just take a picture where you just take a picture of the area you want. Like I could take a picture of just this. And then that, when you go to print it out, that paper will look just like this. Just this one little segment. So. And then I'll have that fabric forever in paper form. Look at this. This was a bed sheet. My old bed sheets. Look how phenomenal this looks. Oh, I'm so impressed and obsessed. And we used um, rusty uh, bits for this, like all type of rusty metal bits, which we're going to go through all the rusty metal bits that I used when we unpacked the, the other rust lasagna. Look, that's the other side. The... This was just some, um, it's grunged up, but not super, but it's, it's good. I just wanted some, some like cotton fiber to add into my stuff. Look at this. This is those same bed sheets, my old bed sheets. Look how cool. I love it. And I just rinsed them in water. I didn't use soap or anything. I just rinsed them in water. Oh, I love it. Look at that. What a difference once it dries. Everything really comes out once it dries. Here's another bed sheet. That same bed sheet. Look at that. Look at those marks. Those are so cool. All of it's so cool. And nothing comes off. Yeah. It's fabulous. Okay. And it should be pretty color fast, which it doesn't matter. I mean, if I was using this for fabric, for uh, clothing, it would make a difference. But I'm using it for art, so we're not going to be rewashing this. I'm going to be using it in my artwork. But it should be pretty color fast because um, we use vinegar, and that vinegar usually sets things so that it, it's color fast, so that it doesn't uh, fade or bleed out. Look how cool. These right here were the um, Las Vegas little tokens that I have. Like the casino tokens, metal tokens. Look how cool. Okay, so that was all those same bed sheets. 
this now is um, so the bed sheets that I have are are, are were supposed to be cotton. Um, I don't know if there's anything else mixed in there, but they're probably cotton because pure, pretty much pure cotton. Because look how um, it took. It takes um, rust. Any type of dyeing takes really, really well on um, like when you have more cotton in the fabric. This one must not have as much cotton because I like it, but it it didn't take to the rust as good as the other one did. But I like it. It has more blacky smoke look and then some rust. But I like it. Not as much as I like the, the first ones I showed you, but I like it. Look at this one. Again, kind of that same thing. More of a smoky look and rust bits here and there. And every fabric is going to take a little bit different. Some type of fabric is going to take better than others. Okay, this is back to my bed sheets, old bed sheets. When you have bed sheets, you guys never throw your bed sheets away because you can use them as fabric. Especially if they're off beige or white, then you can dye them whatever color you want. Look at this. Oh, isn't that fabulous? Oh, so cool. So, 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 so cool. Look at this side. Oh, I'm so obsessed. Look at that. Does this go with my grunge, my grungy look that I love? Yes, it does. And this wasn't just rust. It was also coffee. So I sprayed, um, I laid down, um, I sprayed everything with vinegar. And then I spray, then I put on my metal pieces and then I spray with coffee in certain spots. So look how fabulous this one looks. Now this one came, came out better and this is the same as, it's not the bed sheets, it's this stuff, this one. Huh. I wonder what the big difference was. Probably the metal pieces I used. I thought it was the fabric, but this one took rusty really well. So it was the rusty bits that I used, I guess. Because look at that side. Nicely rusted. Nice rusted patterns on that. Hmm. I don't know. Must have been the, the rusty bits I chose. Okay. And then I have some small lacy pieces. So let's just look at those. Like that could have died better, but it looks nice. It looks grungy at least. This piece is pretty cool. Look at rusty bed. I love it. This one just looks real grungy, not too much rust. But just grungy is fine with me because that's what I want too. I want some pieces just to look grungy. Look at that. That looks really nice and grunged. A little bit of rust. That one just looks a little grungy. This is pretty cool. Look at how grunge that is. There's some rust and then some grunge. There's a lot of coffee staining on there. That one looks pretty cool. Love it. These are some little bits. These are real thin, but they're just kind of grungy looking, which is exactly what I wanted. So, perfect. We're down to the bottom. Oh, look at grungy that one got. This lacy bit's the best lacy one yet. Ooh, look, I love this little piece. I will definitely use that in my next collage. And then there's this one. Look how nice and grungy that piece is. And then this lace is nice and grungy and a lot of good rust on there. And then the last piece, nice and grungy and rusty. Love it. Look at that. And then did this one happen? I don't think this one has a little bit of 
grunginess on it. I'm not sure. We'll redo that one. But anyway, I'm very happy with this. I love it. These turned out fabulous. So let's look at our lasagna, our rusty lasagna that we created last time. Okay. Um, oh, my rusty metal. You know what? Let me pause you guys because I want to get my container that I put my rusty metal bits into and I want to use that container. So I'm going to pause, pause you guys real quick. Okay, you guys, I'm back. This is the uh, round container that I keep all my rusty bits in and I let them rust in outside. And um, I bet that I there's a lot of rust in the bottom of here. I bet you I could fill this up maybe a quarter, quarter inch with water, add some vinegar in here, and just let fabric sit in there. And I'm going to do that and see what we come up with. Okay, so let me get the uh, rusty lasagna. Oops, sorry. Now, I keep a plastic bag on this. And that keep, makes sure it stays wet. It keeps the moisture in. So we'll remove that. And let's check out the goods. Let me bring this down here and then bring this, bring you guys out a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's check it out. Here's the first one. Ooh, I like the first one. Check out all the, look at all the rust on here. Isn't that fabulous? Now this has to be rinsed, so I will rinse everything. Look at that on the other side. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, let me just figure out where I want to put the fabrics at. Okay, I'll put them right here. Hold them up and just stack them here. And then I can, like I said, I have to go rinse these. Now, um, how I rust these rusty bits is I take, did I put it away? Oh no, here it is. Okay. As we go along, I'm going to show you the pieces that I got from Dollar Tree. And then, and those are all pretty much galvanized metal. Most metals that you buy are galvanized. And so I put, got a bunch of pieces from, from Dollar Tree. And they're galvanized, which means there's a protection so they don't rust. So to get that rusty protection off, you use a thing like this. Tidy bowl. You can get this at Dollar Tree. You spread that all over your metal pieces. Put them in, like, the, the bucket I just showed you is in, um, when people change their oil. You find it in the... Um, hardware section at Dollar Tree and um, that's where I put the metal pieces in I put the tidy ball over all the metal pieces and then I just let it sit there for probably two or three weeks but it was rusting good after two or three days so in three days you can have some rusty bits to play with okay so um, these are just a bunch of um, cotton here pieces of cotton that I wanted to rust up a little bit and they've rusted a little bit now these are just a bunch of like tops and stuff and I did throw the tidy ball over those too just to get the I threw it over everything whether it was galvanized metal or not I threw it over it these are those tokens they cut the centers out because the centers I think are copper I think that's why they did it anyway these things rust up good but all these okay this right here are um, the letters from Dollar Tree it says joy that was with that tidy bowl. Okay. But all the pieces, whether they were galvanized or not, I hit it with the tidy bowl cleaner. The to and it, tidy bowl is just toilet, toilet bowl cleaner. Ooh, look at this. There's so much rusty bits on here. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous. I really should have my gloves on. I'm sure I'll be all right. Look at this. Are you guys seeing this? This is better than last time. Some of them I sprayed with coffee. Some I didn't spray with coffee. I wanted to kind of experiment with that. This is fabulous. And you know what? We're getting more rust and even better this time because I let it go for a while. I'm thinking, wait, let me see. I did that video last like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. This has been sitting for four or five days actually. So this is a lot longer. Okay, these are little um, mason jar tops, mason jar tops. These are those coins. These are from Dollar Tree. You get like five of them in a pack, like the word, the, the galvanized metal words. Again, these are the stars. These are great. You'll get like six of them in a pack, and they're in the craft section at Dollar Tree. Those are great. You know what? My hands are getting a little irritated, so just a second. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I never rinsed the um, 
these metal pieces off, the tidy bowl stuff off. So I don't know if that was t bothering me or if it was the rust. And then there's also vinegar mixed in here. I don't really know. But I'm going to wear my gloves until I rinse. Once, like my pieces I showed you that I rinse, those don't irritate me at all. So anyway, look at this one. These are, okay, my thing is this, the last time I only left it like two days, and that's what I showed you guys the results today, which were good, but leave it for a week, leave it for three or four, five, six days, and you're going to get some really good results. Like, look at these. These results are phenomenal. Here's the other side. Look at this. Fabulous. Oh, I'm so excited. Do you guys want to see another video so you can see after I rinse these how these turn out? Put a comment below. If not, I'll just take pictures and put it on, on my Facebook and my Instagram. Look at this. You can even see the cross. Oh, okay. I didn't. I just took those off. I didn't even show you. Okay, so this is uh, corrugated metal you get from Dollar Tree. And the, this is all from the craft section. There's all the stars you can get in a pack. But you get like six of them. Look how nice and rusty they get with that tidy ball. I think there's a cross underneath here is where you get the cross from. What did, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, there's a cross underneath. Okay. But look how beautiful this turned out. The cross that's underneath is right here. Look how the shape of the cross is in there. That is so cool. Oh. I love it. So see this right here. This is what's that how I got the cross and the cross and this big star. I think you get two in a pack here and you get one of these. Hit with the tidy wall, of course, to get it rusted. Look at that side. Fabulous. Look at this. And we're not doing any more rust dyeing today. I'm just showing you results. Fabulous. And these are almost really dry because they've been going for, like I said, four or five days, maybe six, something like that. Again, this is that corrugated cardboard from Dollar Tree. And all these are usually found in the craft section. Sometimes I found these also on the end caps. They'll have a whole set of metal crafty pieces on the end caps, kind of next to the craft section a lot of times. This I got from the um, kitchen section at Dollar Tree. I thought that'll rust good. And it does. These are those words section look at this is this these are phenomenal phenomenal results I am so excited and so happy and I love rust I think rust is one of the most beautiful colors I know you guys know I love pink but I also my other favorite color is rust love it so on the other side these are the pieces that I use all from Dollar Tree and rust it with the tidy ball Okay. This is a, a piece I had in my backyard that was already rusted, but then I hit it with a tidy ball also. So look how much more rusted it got. Fabulous. Look at this one. Again, that um, cross is in there. So cool. Look at the other side. I won't know what side to use. It's also fabulous. Okay, look at this piece. Ugh. Look at that. I cannot believe it. This was, okay, this right here is a little scraper that I used to like, scrape my glass mat to get all any glue and stuff off of there or any paint. Or, and you can use it in the kitchen to scoop up your vegetables after you um, chop them. But I threw the tidy bowl on it because I figured it would rust good. So I have that. Another one of those corrugated metals. I'll rust it out. Look at this. Oh. So watch my last video and you guys will see us how we exactly did this. Pretty much how you see it is how we did it. We just um, laid down rusty bits, laid over the fabric, 
took vinegar, straight vinegar, sprayed straight vinegar over this whole thing, um, and I sprayed some coffee here and there. And to make yourself a bottle full of a spray bottle full of coffee, you do uh, one cup of coffee, three quarters cup of instant coffee, which you get at Dollar Tree, and a spray bottle, a little alcohol for a preservative, and you'll have it like this. So that's my alcohol, and this is my bottle of vinegar. Okay, and I just keep it right in my craft room or my art space here. Here's that corrugated metal again. Real good rusty cheese grater. These are cheese graters. Look how good they rust. Love it. The stars and the little words. Okay. Check this out. Isn't that just rust all it rust rusty fabulous? Oh my god, I love it. I can't wait to rinse it and then dry it and have it all done. Check this out. So do you guys want me to make another video so I can just show you the results of this? Or do you want me to take pictures and you can see it on my Facebook? Um, this is another rusty bit. I haven't seen this one yet. That you can get at Dollar Tree. This is just something I found in my garage. Threw that tidy ball over it. Ooh, look at this. These are like doilies. Like, um like um, these pieces in that last piece I showed you um, they're like doilies from like a table skirt like the end of it what do you call it ruffles it's like the ruffle of a table skirt and they're all individual little doilies see they're fabulous oh look at this isn't that fabulous I love that little square right there even the other side looks cool. Another rusty star. I think of these these size stars, you get like two of them in a pack, I believe. Maybe three. Ooh, look at this. And then look at this on the back. There's a lot of rusty bits on here, so when we rinse them, we'll rinse. Well, I'm going to go soak all this in water when I'm done. And then put it out in the, in the sun. Now these are hashtag metal pieces. These are fabulous. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And um, they've been hit with the tidy ball. Okay, and when I do this, I either put them... You can get these trays at Dollar Tree. These are like serving trays. Um, these are great to make your rusty lasagna in. Or this is a cookie sheet. And you can make your rusty lasagna in that. So... These results came out so good. I'm so excited. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to fill these in some water, let them soak for a little bit, and then wash them out, and then um, let them dry outside. I'm excited. So let me know what you guys think about uh, the results. I think it's fabulous. Let me know if you're going to make you're going to make some um, rust dyed fabric. Um, that would be fabulous, especially if you do mixed media. You can do whatever you're going to do with regular fabric, but now you've made your own rust dyed fabric. Fabric you cannot buy, people. You cannot buy this. All right, you guys, that is it for now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. We have a group called Our Magical Little Place. You can come there. You can share anything you want to share, any project. It doesn't matter if you're a mixed media, if you're a knitter or crocheter junk journal, whatever, come join the group, share with us. If you have any links, you can share the links, you can share videos, stores, it doesn't matter. Just be nice. That's the only rule I have, be nice. Um, I do go live every Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. It's called Angie's Yarn Party. Knitters, crocheters, spinners, yarn enthusiasts, and anybody who likes to have fun is welcome. And I have a giveaway in that, a giveaway yarn. Okay, Sunday, it's called Angie's Art Party. Um, I'm usually doing some type of mixed media. Again, you do not have to be a mixed media artist. You can be a mixed media artist, knitter, crocheter, junk journal. Oh, we have everybody in there. We part, we have a fun party for two hours. I do two giveaways in that and it's just a lot of fun. That's what we call them parties. So that is it. I've talked enough. I'll talk to you guys next video.